What up, y'all? <clears throat> so, I couldn't help but notice, but Joey Schwartz of Carmar Carnivore Camaraderie um, hadn't posted since our last debate on uh, YouTube, which is very strange because Joey uh, posts incessantly on his YouTube normally. So it was very weird to see that he, um, oops, that he uh, didn't post. And especially literally to the day that me and Joey had a debate that he, um, I mean, basically got shut down because Joey was uh, not following the rules of debate was uh, switching his story around and then was be getting argumentative with the moderator. And so at a certain point, the moderator is just like, I'm just going to call this. Um, this is too, this isn't, you know, Joey wasn't prepared. It wasn't organized correctly. Um, and that was our second debate um, that he uh, didn't do very well on. Um, you know, he didn't post our first debate on his YouTube. So obviously he didn't feel like he did very well in it. And uh, the, he wanted me to do a second debate because I he obviously thought that he needed to, he didn't do very well and he needed to, uh, you know, get me. So, uh, so, so I was wondering and I was like, what the fuck? Like, did, did Joey have a meltdown? Cause I talked a lot of shit in our debates or our, our discussions. Cause we haven't really had a real debate yet. And, uh, you know, I told him, I'm all, your people are going to start turning against you. Um, and, and I'm going to help turn your people against you because you're not being honest, Joey. Um, because he's not being honest. He's, um, you know, his, let, his ego has gotten him to, uh, you know, start. Uh, he's basically taking shots at people that helped him get his career going. And, um, and then he's just making more completely false claims that have no empirical data to back it up. And he's, um, you know, basically recommending people be on a dangerous diet that is uh, an eating disorder. Uh, the carnivore diet is an eating disorder. Not drinking water is an eating disorder. Not, not eating fruit, vitamin C, uh, that, that's an eating disorder. Like anorexia. Um, it's a mental problem. So, so I'm telling Joey, I'm like, look, your people are going to turn against you. Your channel's not that big. Um, you know, like my channel's not that big, but, but I don't think it would t be take that much for me to start exposing how much bullshit, um, you put out on your channel. Um, Joey's channel's just, he just lets anyone up there say anything and he agrees with them and you know there's uh, endless like every video i've watched of his is like what like just complete bs and and joey's very condescending about it and he thinks he knows it all because he's a teenager and teenagers all think they know it all so anyway um so joey i was gonna make a video today being like and you know what, what happened to joey like you know did i get to him because he hasn't made a video in six days and usually he makes three videos a day so this morning, I see an hour ago, Joey puts up a video, um, and we're going to watch it right now. Oh, hey everyone. So I'm coming out of what was for sure the worst week of my life. And Medical problem? The reason it was so bad was because I was so sick. Um, I had a sore throat, and for those of you who get sore throats you know that they really suck i couldn't eat that was probably the worst part i couldn't eat I couldn't swallow anything oh i wow. felt like my brain wasn't working i mean so there your, been... your throat swelled up from dehydration or lack of essential nutrients because you don't drink water and you don't even eat the fruit that's around you look at this fruit there's fruit around him if he was eating one of these a day i doubt he'd get sick as sick as he is now um you know if you're drinking water 
you probably wouldn't have get, gotten a sore throat. Like when you're dehydrated, that's like the first thing that happens. You get a sore throat, you know. So times where I've been sick. This is all stuff I talked to Joey about. I was like, bro, you know, like, like this isn't even about veganism or carnivore. Like you need to take better care of yourself. You're 19. You don't exercise. You don't drink water. You don't believe you need vitamin C. You're borderline. You have borderline scurvy and you're okay with it. Like that's like a, that's like eight, like hundreds of years, thousands of years we've known about scurvy and how to simply get rid of it by uh, vitamin C. In the past. And you're like surrounded, literally vitamin C all around you. Look at those guys on the ground. Vitamin C everywhere. Juice has water in it. It's hyd it hydrates you. Look at Joey's face. Like, look at how in denial Joey is about his diet and what he's doing to himself and his disordered eating. Like, this is, this is what happens when Joe Rogan and his fake doctors start recommending people to eat sketchy, dangerous diets. You get people, young, young people like Joey Schwartz here, who's close to death because of clowns, cult, cult-like behavior, groupthink, doublespeak that goes on, mind control that goes on on Joe Rogan's podcast. And this is the result. This kid could be in the prime of his life. And all he does is make anti-vegan smut videos, condescending anti-vegan smut videos and talks about and, and and trashes the people that helped him get his site going and get his career going. He's trashing these people, attacking them, thinking he knows it all. And I told him that he's not going to last very long if he continues on this path. Six months when I've had my channel and I made videos, but this was just a different level and I felt like I couldn't do anything at all. Like my brain wasn't working. I, could, I, I couldn't think about content to produce. I couldn't think quick enough to talk. Then even talking hurt too much. Is Joey trying to say that he lost the debates with me because he was sick? Oh my God. Wow. So it was absolutely miserable. I haven't taken a break from YouTube because Bart K made his video. That has Bro, you need to go to the doctor. Yeah, Bart K made a video about you after watching my interview with my debate with you and Nutrivore's debate with you and probably during Ryder's debate with you. And he lit he watched my video with my debate with you and he heard everything that I said to you. And he went and made a video and said everything that I said to you in his video. Like, I literally told you, I'm going to turn your people against you if you don't at least show a glimmer that you're understanding what I'm saying when I'm telling you that you're dangerously telling, giving people health advice. Like, I literally told you I was going to turn your people against you. And what happens within a week, one of your top 10 guys makes a video exposing you and says everything that I said in my video to you. He exposed himself. He exposed, exposed the whole carnivore diet movement because he went after you so hard because of how poor you do when you are face to face with anyone um, that disagrees with you. Nothing to do with it. In fact, it actually makes this pretty unfortunate timing because I would have liked to respond and I will respond unless he wants to have an actual conversation with me, which is preferable, but 
we'll see where it goes. We'll see what happens, I guess. See, when I asked Joey to do the first debate, um, he agreed and was was pretty friendly and like continued to text me about like conspiracy theories and stuff. I, th I, I, f I thought it was basically like he was trying to make me feel like he wasn't going to be hostile um, in our debate. And like he was trying to uh, use psychology on me to try and like make me feel like, oh, he's just a nice kid. So I won't prepare when I go into the debate, but I prepared for Joey um, and how Joey presents himself on his channel. Um, and I was quick to get hostile with Joey once I once he admitted that he wasn't prepared to uh, he didn't show up prepared to. Um, you know, with empirical data behind any of his tall tales, he repeats thousands of times in his videos. Um, so, so Joey's basically, oh, I'm just a kid. I'm so, you know, I'm, I'm maybe, maybe I'd rather just talk to him about it, you know, because he knows that he's getting ganged up on and he heard what everything that I just told him in our last debate, which is coming true sooner than I thought it was going to come true. Yes. But yeah, I really would have liked to make videos, but I couldn't do it. Um, I told myself I was going to post every day, but I, I literally couldn't. I couldn't post this past week. Uh, um, I know the neighborhood Joey lives in. Uh, this house is probably worth two or three million dollars. Joey's a very privileged boy who um, is very privileged to be able to have a YouTube channel and eat all the meat he does. If the government wasn't paying for subsidizing all that meat, Joey would still get meat. He wouldn't get as much, um, and everyone else would go without because Joey's privileged California boy living in Westwood in a $3 million house in his mom's his parents' house. No. I want to talk a little bit about what this sickness was and what it means, in my opinion. People come to my video with him and tell me that Joey has a great physique. <laughs> he looks like an old guy with skinny bitch tits. I just stepped on something. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm usually around 170 pounds. I'm 5'10 and a half or 5'11, one of those two. Usually around 170. And I got up to 188 pounds. Yeah, he told me in, a, in our video he was 180 something. 5'10, five, five, 180, which is pretty shitty BMI. Um. You wouldn't have known. Maybe you would have guessed I put on like five pounds. I was just very strong, I was very well built. Um, I just had gained weight, but you wouldn't have known it. So I was 188. I had never been that heavy in my life, but I felt very good. I felt like that was a weight that I was supposed to be at. Joey um, thinks that how how I feel is a marker of health um, that, that dominates all other markers of health. Um, Joey, in our debate, I explained to Joey that our brain and our body will actually uh, subdue pain um, you know, like if you break your arm after a while, you know, stuff happens and you you don't feel it anymore. And like you're constantly like even if you're sitting in a chair, you got like your ribs are poking into things and you've your brain just ignores certain pains. And, you know, <clears throat> feeling good, drugs make you feel good. Heroin makes you feel good. So feeling good is not a marker of of health. Not feeling good is a marker of health but feeling normal to feeling good is not necessary a marker of health people who smoke crack feel good um it's not a marker of health performance in life is a marker of health uh, being able to handle the stress of life um uh stably and um you know not being sick what is he gonna throw up This is like a sympathy video. What happened was, in my opinion, I got sick because I was so fat. <laughs> now, 
Um, I wasn't actually that fat. I, I got sick because my body finally had enough body fat to handle. Oh my god! Tests. Now this, this is something else I've been learning kid. a lot about recently. The idea that we don't get sick. You got sick because you only eat raw meat, eggs, and milk, Joey. You can't live off of raw eggs, milk, and raw meat and organs. And so you're saying that your superior diet that is superior to all other carnivore dieters and keto dieters, your version, <clears throat> who your last video, you just told... You just called out everyone in the carnivore scene and told them that they're doing carnivore wrong. And then you get deathly sick right after. And you just blame it on the fat intake because you have too much fat. What did I tell you was going to happen if you keep eating meat, Joey? The half high fat diet causes diabetes. Durian Rider just told you to go get an oral glucose test because you look sick, which is something you need to do. And you just laughed at him. But you would fail that diabetes test right now, guaranteed. Especially if you're getting sick. And you don't get sick from 10 pounds of fat on your body, bro. Obese people have 400 pounds of fat on their body. And they're, they're not almost dying like you are a, a sick for a week sore throat for a week because you got fat holy cow sick from and this guy is held up by tens of thousands of people as an authority on diet and health some sort of germ or virus uh -huh, of course, it was, it was a germ or a virus that got you sick. Watch Joey deny everything but the elephant in the room, the fact that he has a eating disorder. And being viewed as a foreign invader in our body, doing whatever it can to remove the virus or whatever, right? I don't buy germ theory anymore. I of think we course you don't, Joey. Because... Our bodies need to. I gotta turn this up. Joey's walk talking too to slow. Toxins, you need bacteria to bind to toxins and, and move them through the body. So, to put on 18 pounds, what I did was drink a ton of raw cream, like a pint a day. A pint of raw cream a day. And I also ate a lot of raw meat. What? So, and raw milk. So, I was getting very, very big. A pint of cream, raw milk, and meat every day. And, and Joey doesn't work out. He says sometimes he walks. Big. Oh, I'm sorry. My, it's still, my brain is still working a bit slow. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I no, your brain's working slow. And it was all intense. Because you're still a child, could, Joey. As, just throughout the day. And so... I don't think I got sick because I caught some sort of virus. I think I got sick because my body was finally ready and able to detox. That was a healthy thing. Sorry. So, Joey. Said I've ever been at 188 pounds. It was the most ready for detox I've ever been. And now I've lost maybe. Why would you need to tox if you think that your diet is the most natural diet for humans? And you don't say it's toxic at all. You say it's the most nutrient dense, rich, nutrient rich diet that a human can have. So why are you needing to detox if cream and milk, which is something you eat all the time, like why are you having to detox from it if that's what you're saying? 18 pounds or something in a few days. What? Like, I, I just feel so bad. <laughs> right now um why were you trying to gain weight like that joey why did you decide to try and gain weight that way
Like, that's not like, were you trying to get muscular? Because that's not how you get muscular. That's how you get fat, which is what happened. And that's how you get an eating disorder and autoimmune diseases and diabetes. So what's going on here? But yeah, I was ready to detox. My, my body you were ready to detox and so that's why really you got just sick gave me the hardest detox it possibly could no you got sick because your body's telling you to stop doing what you're doing joey i mean i was spitting so much mucus i couldn't sleep i'm pretty tired right now um and i've been tired for the last week because i haven't been able to sleep because through the night i'm constantly spitting mucus and there have been times where I've been spitting saliva as well, just because my sore throat hurts so much. But I think the real toxins are excreted through the mucus, and maybe the saliva is a bit less necessary to spit out constantly. This but is Joey constantly making unscientific theories to himself, and, and adults agree with him on it <laughs> all day in the comments. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. But I don't know. I think my issue is heavy metals in the brain. Oh my God. I've had people tell me this before. I've spoken with different people who I really respect. Then they say, yeah, Joey, it's heavy metals in the brain. I'm sorry. I have this theory and really smart people told me that this theory is right. So just believe me when I say that while I go throw up off screen because I'm near death this is taking forever come on dude I'll do a whole video on detox because it deserves a video a video on how you don't know anything about detox Joey you don't know what you're talking about you're what we call in the real world a numbers guy. You've memorized some things, but you don't know how to apply them in the real world. To remove toxins from the body, it goes beyond diet. A regular carnivore diet won't really be good at it because you don't get enough bacteria, which is going to bind to toxins. The cooked foods aren't great for detox. A lot of people go carnivore and they say, well, this is amazing. I don't get sick. I haven't gotten sick in five years or whatever. The problem is, if you've lived a normal life where you've been exposed to bad air, You've eaten bad food, you've eaten seed oils, you've had microplastics in, in your system, you've had, sh you know, shots, right? You have things to get rid of. So if you're not getting sick, that's a problem. You need to be getting sick to get rid of these toxins. There aren't really other ways for our body to do it. Sickness is the best oh way. Oh my God, Joey. And How in so denial that's, could you be? I don't think that's something you should be proud it's of. It's everything but his diet. If you're not getting sick anymore. And no getting reason. sick. Getting sick is a measure of health. Joey. Joey Schwartz thinks getting sick is a me measure of health, but but uh, endurance is not. Not being able to. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Not being in your prime for a long time. Joey doesn't think that that's a measure of health, but. Getting sick is a measure of health. Sickness. If you're not getting sick, you're not healthy. It's just a detox. And that's what I've learned. You've learned nothing. You're, ob you're observing things and falsely, you're misdiagnosing things. So this past Because week, you're a know-it-all. I haven't done much, really. I've really just laid in bed, spat out mucus, watched informative videos. I had two interviews with Sally Norton and with Lee Erke, who wrote a book exposing veganism. They're actually two pretty important interviews and I did my best with them, but I wasn't totally on. They're not important in the least bit. It's a bunch of people with no empirical, but no empirical data. It's, it's infield baseball, double speak, uh, group think. And they just, all these guys, that's why Joey's so unprepared when he shows up to real debates is because he only debate, he only does interviews and gets information from people that are a part of his whole agenda. So when he goes and debates someone like me or Nutrivore, who actually has pretty good arguments, 
he he can do nothing but appeal to the crowd, appeal to nature, appeal to tradition, appeal to all these things that aren't actual facts or data. And Joey denies the highest form of data, which are meta studies and meta analysis. Joey lied in our debate and told me a study he had was a meta study when it wasn't. It was actually a low quality cross cut. Uh, cross-sectional study the the Australian the Australian um, meat causing longevity uh, study which is a, a complete joke of a study that all these carnivores are touting as as the debunker of all all plant-based science when plant-based science <clears throat> has been studied for 200 years and uh, there's plenty of empirical data that shows uh, most definitely higher mortality rates in meat eaters, uh, hundreds of years of data, thousands of studies on millions of people. These carnivores are science deniers. It's like they're flat earthers. Um, I really did try though. I couldn't reschedule them. Uh, whenever I go outside though, it's just much better. It's way better than being inside and yeah, the fresh air that's is that's called vitamin D, bro. You got to get in the sun. <laughs> you got to go outside and walk around and do things. You can't be sedentary. You have to go be in the sun for more than a few minutes. Be in the sun for more than what it takes you to get your front door to your car. You got to walk more than just walking to your car or around your neighborhood. You have to do like you have to have a strong heart. You have to exercise your heart doing whatever or nothing you say walking around you know like we're all made to walk all day and not really like you know have it be that like hard on our bodies you have to do more than just starve yourself and stay inside but i'm excited to come out of this healthier and to come out of this slump cleaner less toxins in my brain hopefully this is all bs joey had a meltdown last mm -hmm. week he did several interviews that he did very bad in, ending with a with a debate that he get he got shut like pulled off of, like the debate was stopped by the moderator because Joey was acting so unruly during the debate. He wasn't he didn't show up prepared at all. He changed the premise at the uh, like right before the premise that we had decided on the week before that I prepared for with my with a five minute opening statement. Joey decided to change it and not defend the carnivore diet, but simply defend only the omnivorous diet. And then he comes out here and tells you that you're all doing the carnivore diet fake when he, he's only willing to debate the omnivore diet against a vegan. Like, is that funny to you, you guys? You guys don't think that's... It's like Joey doesn't understand that he's exposing himself by doing that. He's thinking he's being clever because he's he's taking a position that he can actually win a debate with, maybe, or, or feels he could win a debate with. But he's really exposing how much of a coward he is and how how inconsistent he is when it comes to sticking up for his diet that he tells everyone to be on, which makes him makes you sick, which we're seeing right now. You know, some people are gonna criticize the way I've just described sickness because they wanna believe that it's something that you just get from someone else. You know, there's all this pathological bacteria Joey's and constantly and talking about all these people because Joey is still affected by the comments, by negative comments, by trolls. Uh, Joey's constantly bombarded with trolls even people on his side of the story even carnivores and ketos and meat people are going after him because of how bs his videos are so he's uh, uh, constantly addressing <clears throat> and rolling his eyes and ad hominem attacking anyone who doesn't believe exactly what he believes nature's against us i like my view because it's way more nature is not against us bro one. like viruses aren't even alive and I also like my view, in addition to the scientific soundness of it, it's desirable. Because it's, it's like he's doing the like Elon Musk that fake like, oh, I got to look smart. So I have to like really, I have to stare off and think about my thoughts and then say them and act really profound and slow. Like it's all this like BS, like 
like watch some videos on how to be like uh you know like more better in your like it's just if we look at sickness garbage. something that is done by the body to heal itself we can actually be confident in our body we can trust what, what goes on in the world we can trust what happens if your diet is perfect and what you're doing is is so healthy then how why are you needing to heal what happened that you're needing to heal from joey like what part of your body broke and why did it break thus you needed the healing you're you're ignoring that whole part with us when i say we can trust what goes on in the world i mean we can trust what we see what, what people exhibit to be a function of their body trying to heal itself we can what am i trying to say here we can we can trust right we can be comfortable with the understanding that we're not against ourselves. We are not against ourselves. My body is not against me. My body is not filled with this stuff from the outside world. Your body is telling you what you're doing is wrong, Joey. That, um, you know, it, it's not fighting you. It's trying to push the crap out. You've, 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 uh, you've overwhelmed your body and it's trying to reject. It's trying to fight back against the overwhelming you're doing sucked in right like i sucked in a virus from one of my friends and now i'm sick no no my are you gonna not drink water on this detox <clears throat> did you not drink water the whole time because you tell people not to drink water and you say you don't drink water you just drink milk all day with eggs in it body is on my side trying to make me better better from what joey what happened to where your body needs to make you better. And that's the key. What germ theory is able to do is divorce us from our own bodies, essentially. Divorce us from our own sense of well-being. Joey doesn't understand that our bodies are a very large amount of bacteria. Joey, Joey, the, the, the idea, the gut biome and what happens with uh, when you eat meat and the, the types of bugs in your stomach, Joey knows that that's a very serious argument against eating meat. And so he rejects all germs and bacteria, the idea of them, and, and then makes these, these, oh, this is why I don't believe in this. But it's really because it's a hole in his argument that he wants to fill with some bullshit and distract from. Mm. Tens of thousands of adults think this guy is a genius for only eating raw meat, eggs, and milk. Joey's teeth bled for two weeks once, he said. And he said it was just because he wasn't brushing his teeth when really he had scurvy. But he denies it to the death that he had scurvy. And it, he claims he gets all the vitamin C he needs from meat. Eat one of those oranges, Joey. Pick it up off the ground or out of the tree. Eat it. Don't break a piece off the poor I bush. To Spain in about a week. I'm really excited for that, but also a bit nervous. So start college soon as well in an online school. So we'll see what happens with all that. Maybe you so should go do all that, Joey. Better. Take some time off from your channel. It's stressing you out. Stop taking debates from people, Joey. Start researching the things you say. Find studies, high quality studies, not clinical trials, not animal test studies, meta studies, high caliber meta studies to back up the things you say before you do any more debates. That is what a debate is, Joey. Watch some YouTube debate videos on what debates are and how your behavior should be in a debate. Because you never came prepared, yet you said I was misbehaving in the debate when I was simply 
uh, I was simply speaking with conviction and, um, you know, treating you as the hostile that you treat everyone who comes on your show. Um, so it sucks, but it's necessary. And given the amount of damage I've done to my body damage, how Joey, how did you damage your body? Just saying environmentally from breathing in L.A. and microplastics, it just had nothing to do with the fact that you have an eating disorder. Throughout my life and my subpar detoxing capabilities, um, I'm ready to... Yeah, you got to drink water to detox, Joey. How are you so smart yet you don't know, you, you claim you just admitted you have subpar detoxing capabilities? To heal. And this is this is fine. Heal from what, Joey? Being sick is fine. Being sick is not fine. It's not a marker for health. All right, everyone. That's it. Just wanted to check in with you. Explain what's happening. More videos soon. Jesus Christ, dude. So, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to watch that. Um, Joey needs to stop being dishonest um and uh things aren't gonna go well for him if he doesn't his whole go look at the comments on bart k's yeah go look my video vegan versus bart k vegan destroys bart k destroying carnivore camaraderie watch that video like the comments are insane. No one is, but like everyone has turned. Joey's already lost five thousand viewers in the last this last week. So obviously, maybe he's not sick. <laughs> maybe he just doesn't know how to react to his whole movement turning against him, uh, which is exactly what I said they would do. Anyway, peace.